Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and I'm a flight attendant with a major US airline. You guys, I'm like excited. If you can't tell, you're like, wow, Kat, that intro was fast. Um, but no, I am so excited. So today, cruise scheduling assigned to me for tomorrow, El Salvador. We are doing a two day SAL layover, which I am so excited. I have never been. I do apologize for the washing machine in the background, if y'all can hear it. I'm trying to get my uniforms washed and everything together. You would think I would be a little bit more proactive with this stuff, but I'm not. <laughs> um, so right now I'm actually packing, so I'll go ahead and run you through everything. So this is my new three year suitcase that I showed you in the video the other day. I don't know why I have not started using this yet because my other one's broken, but I haven't. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and be packing this up and then over here, so Travel Pro actually gave me these packing cubes as well as this cosmetic case, which I will open this up and show you because it's pretty cool. Um, which if you don't know, Travel Pro actually is the one that does the suitcase. So they're partnered with my company. So our company bags are through Travel Pro. I absolutely love them. They are sturdy bags. Excuse the mess behind me, but the only thing that had broken on my other suitcase was actually the zipper part. And it was whenever I was non-revving and I guess somewhere in transit it, it snapped off and broke and so then I just put like a little cord on it but I mean they're sturdy like that's why we use them as work bags so I'm excited to try out their packing cubes so in this medium sized packing cube I have one of my uniform dresses as well as an extra pair of pantyhose and then over here I have a pair of pajamas and I'll put an outfit or two um, this is the largest one which I'll be straight up honest I've had some bigger packing cubes that can really hold a lot more than this one but I feel like if you're going on a short trip it is a nice set so I'm gonna go ahead and put my stuff in here and then over here I have some socks bras underwear that sort of stuff in the little one and then this is the cosmetic case which I'm excited because I'm gonna see if I can put my toiletries and my makeup in the same case and then that'll really save me some storage stuff so I'm excited to put this one to use and see how it does so right now I'm just waiting for the laundry to be done but I've already actually moved a lot of my stuff here into the guest bathroom because you guys <laughs> It is a 5 a.m. sign-in, which means it is a 3 a.m. wake-up call. <laughs> so once the laundry's done, I'm gonna finish packing and I guess I will see you guys way too early. <laughs> bags don't tell you it's three in the morning <laughs> oh, coffee today is day one of a two day and we are going to el salvador so today we are actually working two flights we are going from dallas to miami and then miami down to el salvador did i tell you it's 3 a.m <laughs> i'm excited for the layover but my goodness this is early Show ya, you're my one and only, like I told you. So I am ready, it is 4.11, obviously I'm ready, I'm in my car, um, but it's 4.11 so I'm heading to the airport right now. Because it's so early there's no traffic so I guess we don't have to worry about getting there on time. <laughs> your heartache it kills me, but your loving it thrills me. So I just got to the airport right now. Nobody's here really yet. So I'm at A and I have to head over to C. When I wake up early in the morning. Here for gates A22. So I just missed the first train, but they come every like minute or two so you can see the one behind me. So I'm just waiting to catch it and then we're gonna go check in, sign in. And when I come I just got on the plane. I'm working at the number two position today, which means I work from the back galley. So I'm gonna do all my safety checks, make sure all the equipment in the back of the plane is good to go, make sure catering is good to go, and I will see you guys either in Miami or in El Salvador. Right now on 
a long sit time. So we had about like two and a half hour sit. So we went to La Corretta and ate some food. It was so good. Now I'm just waiting. Our checks are done. The galley's prepped. Everything is good to go. So it's just waiting for the passengers to get on and then to El Salvador. I see. Sigue el corriente, saca la botella, cambia el ambiente. Baby, no me mientes. Tú sabes que te gusta muy caliente. Okay, so we're here. You guys, I have to hurry a little bit because I'm going out with a crewmate. Um, his friends are coming to pick us up and we're going out for pupusa, which I asked you guys on Instagram what I should eat and that was by far what everybody recommended. So it is hot, excuse the sweat, but I'll show you the room really fast and we gotta get dressed and go downstairs. <laughs> here is our little bathroom. And then we come out and they have a fridge and a microwave. And then this is our little room. We just have the one bed this time, but honestly, this is giving me like very, very cute, like little cottage loving vibes. This is much needed, because I'm telling y'all, it is humid. And then here is our view from the window. Can y'all tell by my face like how humid it is? We actually stay in this compounded area. So we are military gated in. Um, and so we have to drive out. They really don't recommend you leaving here unless you're going with somebody secure. So that is what we are going to do. But normally speaking, I think the rest of the crew is all actually hanging out in the compound. There's like a pool. Obviously there's the basketball court and like other stuff to do around here. But yeah, okay, let's get changed. <laughs> So they came and picked us up and we were heading for a restaurant 45 minutes away called La Pampa to get some pupusas. And we actually stopped at the stand where you can get coconut milk. So they have these stands all along the street and they're really cool. And you get these bags of coconut milk with coconut. So as I'm drinking this, it's the most refreshing thing ever. And I'm hanging my head out the window, just staring at all of the plants and the houses and just the nature and soaking it all in. And you see all of the landscape in the hills and it's stunning before we finally arrive at the restaurant. So we just got here. We drove 45 minutes and we we're gonna eat pupusa inside and it's so beautiful It feels cooler up here, but oh my gosh the view was stunning <laughs> So as we were waiting on our table, I was just soaking in the views and the view from the table did not disappoint either. So from the balcony, you can look onto the city down beneath you and it's stunning. So the wait staff there really did not speak English. So thank you to these guys who helped me order food. We started with this soup that's kind of like a salsa verde and then they bring out this long tray of condiments and then Joe right here, he's the speaker on my trip. So he dares us all to eat this spicy pepper. So we all do it, it wasn't so bad before they finally bring out the food. And my goodness, it was a lot of food. So we started with the pupusas and they showed me how to build them. So you put the slaw on top and then the salsa and then you eat it with your hands. After we finished eating, we decided we wanted to go to this really cool place and it has a view. So it's a little bit higher up on the mountain and it's like this volcano. And as soon as we get there, you can see people already zip lining from the top on a bicycle. And then these clowns kind of meet you as you're going up. It is just the funniest thing. And you can see everybody on the property just having a good time. It was such a hoot. And then on the property, apparently this is kind of owned by like a wealthier family in El Salvador so there's lots of little stores and cool things and they live on the property so you can see their dogs here and obviously where you find me you find dogs and we just soaked in the views before I finally had to go back to the hotel and do some work okay you guys I am back in the hotel and let me just say this layover amazing like literally amazing it was really kind of cool just being able to hang out with crew but also with locals and getting like a mix of how everything works what everything looks like getting to see like more than just the hotel room but the food was amazing thank you to everybody who wrote me on instagram I was like try the pupusas obviously thank you to miss wonderfully ali y'all know she was the first person i contacted i was like ali ma'am i'm laying over here because she's from here and she couldn't come with me this time and she was very upset but i was also very upset because I would have loved to experience this with her. It was really, really amazing, but it's also kind of unique because you see the most beautiful countryside right next to some really impoverished areas. So it's, it's, it's really nice, but also eye-opening in the same respect. I need to start winding down and getting ready because you guys like, <laughs> You know I have been getting these early, early, early morning show times, and today is no different. So um, tomorrow is a 4.45 show time, which means we are going to be doing a 3.45 wake up. <laughs> 
I could not sleep. I have been up since about 1 a.m. Um, it started by checking my alarm clock every 10 minutes, and then it ended up with me just FaceTiming my husband because I'm like, Chippy, I can't sleep, and he couldn't sleep either. Okay, so today we are just working one flight, so we are going from, I was like, where are we at? Uh, we are going from El Salvador to Dallas, and then once we get to Dallas, we have to go through customs, and yeah, I know 100% I'm gonna be so tired because I've barely slept. I maybe got two to three hours of sleep. So this is gonna be super lovely, but I'm really trying like not to think about it. I'm just like, girl, work your one flight, get through customs, get to your truck, get home, and we will go to sleep. So like that's all that's kind of like going through my head right now is just like do the things and then we'll worry about sleep later. <laughs> Also, I have decided that this cosmetic case from Travel Pro is like the most convenient thing ever. Like this one holds all of like my toiletries and stuff. And then in this one over here, I have like all of my cosmetics. It's nifty. <laughs> The other thing is this hotel is supposed to have an amazing breakfast for us this morning. I don't generally eat this early, so I don't know if I'm gonna eat or not, but what I do do is drink a lot of coffee. So, looking forward to that. So just sit with me, talking to the night into the morning, building camp mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me. Okay, you guys, I am all dressed <laughs> and ready. I have all of my stuff already packed up. I have my mask and my sweater over there. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick room check and check all of the outlets, make sure I did not forget anything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs to get some breakfast. I'm actually kinda hungry, which is pretty surprising. I also want coffee, which is not surprising. <laughs> oh, 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 you used to tell me you love me so. But now you're saying you have to go Just like a lightning from a clear sky So we just got on the plane and did our pre-flight check So we're just waiting for boarding and we're working one flight to Dallas And I will see you guys as soon as we land I wasn't ready to say goodbye Ever since you left There's nothing but a cloud in sky And there's no day, there's only night I finished working my flight and I just made it through customs I now have to get onto the Skylink because I parked in A and Customs is in D. So the day is not over yet, but then we're gonna go ahead and finally head home. Uh, I'm tired. Now I'm sitting all by myself, trying to see the light in the dark. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mousy. Hi, Panty. Look who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey. <laughs> I am going to take a nap. <laughs> Jason's deli is on the way, so I'm gonna eat that and then go ahead and probably take a nap and a shower and just chill because we go back on call tomorrow and we are good for two days. So if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, press the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>